synthetic fibers are the result of extensive research by scientists to improve on naturally occurring animal and plant fibers. In general, synthetic fibers are created by forcing, usually through extrusion, fiber forming materials through holes into the air, forming a thread. Before synthetic fibers were developed, artificially manufactured fibers were made from cellulose, which comes from plants. These fibers are called cellulose fibers. History, Early Experiments Sir Joseph Swan invented the first synthetic fiber in the early 1880s. His fiber was drawn from a cellulose liquid, formed by chemically modifying the fiber contained in tree bark. The synthetic fiber produced through this process was chemically similar in its potential applications to the carbon filament Swan had developed for his incandescent light bulb, but Swan soon realized the potential of the fiber to revolutionize textile manufacturing. In 1885 he unveiled fabrics he had manufactured from his synthetic material at the International Inventions Exhibition in London. The next step was taken by Hilaire de Chardonnet, a French engineer and industrialist, who invented the first artificial silk, which he called Chardonnet silk. In the late 1870s, Chardonnay was working with Louis Pasteur on a remedy to the epidemic that was destroying French silkworms. Failure to clean up a spill in the darkroom resulted in Chardonnay's discovery of nitrocellulose as a potential replacement for real silk. Realizing the value of such a discovery, Chardonnay began to develop his new product, which he displayed at the Paris Exhibition of 1889. Unfortunately, Chardonnay's material was extremely flammable and was subsequently replaced with other, more stable materials. Commercial Products The first successful process was developed in 1894 by English chemist Charles Frederick Cross, and his collaborators Edward John Bevan and Clayton Beadle. They named the fiber viscose, because the reaction product of carbon disulfide and cellulose in basic conditions gave a highly viscous solution of xanthate. The first commercial viscose rayon was produced by the UK company Cortalds Fibers in 1905. The name rayon was adopted in 1924, with viscose being used for the viscous organic liquid used to make both rayon and cellophane. A similar product known as cellulose acetate was discovered in 1865. Rayon and acetate are both artificial fibers, but not truly synthetic, being made from wood. Nylon the first synthetic fiber, was developed by Wallace Carothers, an American researcher at the chemical firm DuPont in the 1930s. It soon made its debut in the United States as a replacement for silk, just in time for the introduction of rationing during World War II. Its novel use as a material for women's stockings overshadowed more practical uses, such as a replacement for the silken parachutes and other military uses like ropes. The first polyester fiber was introduced by John Rex Winfield and James Tennant Dixon, British chemists working at the Calico Printers Association, in 1941. They produced and patented the first polyester fiber which they named Terraline, also known as Dacron, equal to or surpassing nylon in toughness and resilience. ICI and DuPont went on to produce their own versions of the fiber. Description Synthetic fibers are made from synthesized polymers or small molecules. The compounds that are used to make these fibers come from raw materials such as petroleum-based chemicals or petrochemicals. These materials are polymerized into a long, linear chemical that bond to adjacent carbon atoms. Differing chemical compounds will be used to produce different types of fibers. Synthetic fibers account for about half of all fiber usage with applications in every field of fiber and textile technology. Although many classes of fiber based on synthetic polymers have been evaluated as potentially valuable commercial products, four of them, nylon, polyester, acrylic and polyolefin, dominate the market. These four account for approximately 98% by volume of synthetic fiber production, with polyester alone accounting for around 60%. There are several methods of manufacturing synthetic fibers but the most common is the melt spinning process. It involves heating the fiber until it begins to melt, then you must draw out the melt with tweezers as quickly as possible. The next step would be to draw the molecules by aligning them in a parallel arrangement. This brings the fibers closer together and allows them to crystallize and orient. Lastly, 
is heat setting. This utilizes heat to permeate the shape dimensions of the fabrics made from heat sensitive fibers. Advantages Synthetic fibers possess unique characteristics which make them popular dress material. Synthetic fibers do not depend either on an agricultural crop or on animal farming. Artificially made, hence available plentifully. They are generally cheaper than natural fiber. Easy to wash and dry up quickly. More stain resistant than natural fibers. Resistant to insects, fungi and rot. Pick up different dyes readily. Stronger and more durable than natural fibers. Disadvantages. Most of synthetic fibers' disadvantages relate to their low melting temperature. Synthetic fibers burn more readily than natural. Prone to heat damage. Melt relatively easily. Prone to damage by hot washing. More electrostatic charges generated by rubbing than with natural fibers. Not skin friendly, so uncomfortable for long wearing. Allergic to some persons. Non biodegradable in comparison to natural fibers. Common synthetic fibers. Common synthetic fibers include nylon, mod acrylic, olefin, acrylic, polyester, carbon fiber. Speciality synthetic fibers include other synthetic materials used in fibers include acrylonitrile rubber. Modern fibers that are made from older artificial materials include glass fiber as used for industrial, automotive, and home insulation, reinforcement of composite materials, speciality papers in battery separators and filtration. Metallic fiber as used for adding metallic properties to clothing for the purpose of fashion. Elimination and prevention of static charge buildup, conducting electricity to transmit information, conduction of heat. In the horticulture industry synthetics are often used in soils to help the plants grow better. Examples are, expanded polystyrene flakes, urea formaldehyde foam resin, polyurethane foam, phenolic resin foam, see also, artificial turf, elastoral, fiber rope, references. Further reading. The original source of this article and much of the synthetic fiber articles is Whole Earth Magazine, No. 90, Summer 1997. www.haleearth.com